Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, my Tesla position. I'm officially a Tesla shareholder now. I think I'm gonna title that video that way. Anyways, uh, so uh, before I talk about it, before I talk about my position, I just wanna talk about The Boys Season 2. I'm so happy that uh, Amazon made a Season 2 for The Boys. Uh, I'm very excited to watch the Season 2 on Amazon Prime which I currently uh, have uh, very very excited um, if you haven't seen season one it was awesome season two I hope is awesome too but uh, definitely definitely gonna be watching it in the short term I just wanted to point that out I can't believe that they would advertise me the boys to the boys when I already own Amazon Prime, it just it makes no sense to me that they would waste an advertisement on me. But hey, I am glad that uh, I know that The Boys 2 is uh, finally out. So I'm very excited to watch it. Anyways, Tesla, Tesla stock. So I, wa I just bought a little bit of shares of Tesla stock just so I can call myself a shareholder. I'm a shareholder and I bought it exactly at 420 but then my bank I guess charged me an extra 69 cents because that's how they make money they, they tacked on a little bit even if I, I I managed to buy it at 420 but hey I got 10 shares at 420 I am down a little bit so you know whatever it's not a big deal I just wanted to own some shares and I now own 10 shares of Tesla at $4, $420. It's a little expensive, but I, I just <laughs> I just kind of wanted to have that 420 in my portfolio, and now I do. Anyways, Tesla, I don't know what Tesla stock's gonna do, but when battery days uh, comes, I think, I, I think I'll be up on my position and I can sell out, but I can also hold too for like the super long term and see if I can make anything off that, or, if the stock drops low enough, uh, actually today was a good uh, position to, I could have made another position today uh, when the stock hit $372, but I was sleeping when that happened. But you never know, the market right now is very volatile and it's still downtrending, so there is still a possibility that Tesla could go down further, uh, so there could be a buying opportunity if Tesla ever hits $300 roughly around $300 I would be a buyer I would definitely be a buyer there but will it do that I don't know I hope so but I really don't know at the end of the day what the Tesla stocks gonna do uh the market yeah so the market's down today workhorse is popping today but then it kind of pulled back a little bit uh you know this uh this is could be the official pump I don't know we'll see I mean uh, it could still be volatile we could see uh, we could see a pop up and we can see it fall back down again but we'll see diamond peak holdings is slightly recovering today not too much to say about that uh, PL pollen met mining corporation had a reverse split not too long ago the stock kept dropping all the way down to two dollars and sixty nine cents and then popped today from 269 to uh, 451 67% uh, move I saw that and I thought I'd talk about it FPX mining also rallied 10% today uh, 9% uh, green power as I made a video about it the stock plummeted made a video about it and then it, it crashed real hard and then people bought that up and now it's crashing again uh, KCAC today is uh, trading no had a nice day trade now it's kind of trading sideways a little bit solo solo crashed this morning real hard when I uh, and then after that people bought that up uh, Wow two dollars and thirty six cents man that would have been a good buy and then uh, the stock got bought up and now it's at 264 well the people who bought it up down here sell off I don't know maybe we'll see 
a blink. Man, if I, just because I have to sleep in the afternoon, and I miss out on some sweet deals uh, if I was a day trader. Uh, blink is down 32 cents. GameStop is trading sideways. Uh, Hennessy Capital, uh, co Hennessy Capital today, uh, just trading sideways, but it had a dip too. Seems like all the stocks had like a big dip during the day, uh, you know, except for Intel. But yeah, like it, all the stocks seem to be like the same. Had a massive dip, like Diamond Peak. Workhorse today, like big dip today, big dip here, and then got bought up. You know, so not all stocks are the same, but you know, you get what I'm saying, right? It all had like a, a little dip, and then it got bought up, like solo, boom, dip, bought up. So, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, Rocket Company, big dip today. You know, and then bought up. So yeah, I think Rocket Company is heading down lower. It could be wrong. This is speculation on my part. A uh, Neo Lithium Corporation down ten cents today. Aurora down forty four cents today. I wonder if Aurora happened the same thing. Kind of, like started the day kind of strong and then it dipped real bad and then it bounced and now it's trading sideways. Canopy down 23 cents a day. Cron neutral. Afria down 10 cents a day. Tilray down 25 cents a day. Tilray does look very attractive, but I don't still don't like the company. So, yeah, 247. That would that is a sweet buy right there. If that if that happens again, very very good food company today. Ooh yes, up another two cents. That's right. I'm happy because I'm a shareholder. I hope this thing hits two dollars. I hope this thing gets listed on the Nasdaq. I hope people uh, FOMO and start buying like crazy when it hits two dollars, and then I make a ton of money. Liberal Health Science. Liberal Health Science is trading sideways. Planet Thirteen uh, down twenty three cents. Uh, Harvest Health uh, up two cents. You know, I mean it bounced, but uh, yeah. Planet 13 today was trading sideways. Kira is bouncing right now, kind of. True Eve, same thing. True Eve is bouncing right now too. Uh, Cresco Labs, what is Cresco Labs doing? It's up eight cents. Uh, GTI. Bouncing too. Anyways, this is it for my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.